A couple of things first and foremost. What we're going to be doing today is we're going to be going over character traits and making sure that everyone understands what's being expected of you when you are um, talking about character traits. I'm gonna show you some resources that you'll have for today's assignment. And then we're going to finally go over the short response from yesterday. I've got a couple of strong models that I want to show. And then for students who are like, oh, I did not do it that way. You can go back and you can do it today. So first and foremost, okay, so I'm gonna share my screen and which means that the screen with my face is going to be frozen. So make sure that when I share my screen, you are clicking onto my screen. And then if you can't hear me because I'm frozen, someone please let me know. So we are going to go into the assignment first for today. Can someone unmute and let me know that you can hear me all right? I can hear. I can hear you. Is someone able to hear me? Were you all able to hear me when I was presenting my screen? Yes, Ms. Hurley. When I was presenting my screen, you could? Yeah, when you were presenting. Okay, hold on. Oh, cool, okay, sweet. So I will go back and share my screen again. And I just wanna show you what we are gonna be doing for today's assignment. So if you notice, today's assignment is not a Google form, it's a Google doc. I made it so that it makes a copy for you. Okay, cool. Awesome, thank you all. So if I click into the document, there are a couple things I wanna make sure is clear. So the directions for each character, choose two character traits. I wanna go in and I wanna make that bold so no one forgets. Two character traits. What's going on? Oh, okay. I thought someone was trying to talk. Okay, so we're in the assignment for today. This is what it looks like. For each character, choose two character traits to describe how they act in Act 2. Then find one piece of evidence to support each character trait. Complete this chapter using the list of high-level character trait words provided. So you should be on my screen right now. I'm sharing my screen. You should be clicked onto my screen. Ms. Hurley, it shows the Google Meet. It doesn't show so what the screen is. You need to be using high level character trait words. So I'm gonna click in and I'm gonna show you. I have lists of negative character trait words. You don't need to be seeing you, seeing me. You need to be seeing my screen. Click onto my screen, please. So you've got a list of negative character trait words here. Ms. Hurley. And you have a list of positive character trait words. Yes. We can't see your screen even if we click on it. That's what's frozen as well. Got you. Okay. Thank you for clarifying, Sam. That's such a bummer. Okay. I don't know why my computer keeps doing that. That's really frustrating. All right. Let me think about how to do this then. I was going to walk through the whole assignment with you, but if – you all on your own screens can click into the assignment for today and open so that you can see what I'm talking about. In the meet, just write ready when you have the assignment open for today. Jordan, you still have work. So directions, um, open the assignment for today, write ready in in the chat when you have it open awesome karen is ready elizabeth is ready unfortunately i don't know why i can't share my screen i will try to figure it out today i am very unsure what is going on with that 
Okay, I see a couple other people are ready. We've got 30 people in this chat, so I wanna make sure that I'm giving enough time for everyone to get ready. If you have already written ready in the chat, you should be reading the directions that's on the top of that page. It's only a couple of lines. If I don't need to read those out loud again, that will make this faster. Okay, so I think most of us are ready, so we're gonna keep working. So the directions are just explaining how to use this chart. So on the chart, you'll notice you've got five characters. They're all the characters from Act Two. You have Higgins, Pickering, Mrs. Pierce, Liza, and Doolittle. What you need to do is you need to write a character trait in each of the character trait boxes. So each character receives two character traits. Now, what I noticed from the assignment from 428, so from Tuesday, is many people were using words like nice, kind, good, um, bad, mean, angry. So those words are what we call elementary character words. That's not where we're at. We're not in elementary school. We should not be using elementary character words. So if you notice in the assignment for today, you also have two lists of character traits. You have a negative list of character traits and a positive list. There are 175 words on each list. If you don't know what all of the words are, that's okay. Look up the definitions and practice using words that you feel a little bit uncomfortable with. It is totally acceptable to look up definitions of words before you use them in your writing. It's actually encouraged. We want to be expanding our vocabulary and therefore you need to use vocabulary that you aren't always very comfortable with. So in the assignment, under the column that says character trait, make sure that you are using high level character trait words. Now let me be extremely clear here. A character trait describes what type of person the character is. So I'm gonna write this in the chat so you have it. A character trait describes what kind of person a character is, not what they are doing. So, and this, for those of you who feel comfortable with grammar words, a character trait is an adjective, not a verb. That's something that helps me. An adjective is a describing word. A verb is a doing word. So a character trait describes the type of person, not what that person is doing. Let's do an example. So, oh, this will be fun. Okay, so in the chat, write one character trait, high level word. So I want you using the lists that are on the assignment to characterize Mr. McCabe. So write one character trait. So for example, if I'm going to use the list of words, I would say he was, so something, Jalen, that's not a high level word. I would say captivating. Dull works, Abdul, although you're gonna, if Mr. McCabe is in here, he's gonna scold you. So captivating, Sam, good question. Captivating means he like draws people in. He has got a big personality and he really catches interest. 
overcritical. That's a strong one, Jaylene. So Jordan, describing what someone looks like is not describing who they are. So think about what is his personality like. Original, that's a strong one, Christine. Dependable, good, Liz Mary. Celise, I want you to find a stronger word. Silly is an elementary word. Quirky, that works, Isis. Killjoy, Aiden, it works. Strong word. Jaylene, stubborn, good. Abdul, faithful. Josh, I want you to find a higher level word than grumpy. Jalissa, extreme, strong. Confident, yes, Jay. Araya, find a stronger word than annoying. Annoying is a elementary word. Jalen, powerful, much stronger. Shailen, I'm not sure I know what your word means. I'm gonna look it up right now. No, denote is not a character trait. Shailen, try again. Sam, you gotta find me a good word. Ruthless, Jaden, that's a strong word. Impetus, Carter. Joshua Day, do you really think that depressed represents Mr. McCabe? Jaylene Petty, good. Honest, Anna. Devoted, Celise, good. Compassionate, Asias, good. Cheerful is better. Oh, he's bright, okay. Sam, that's stronger, yes. Okay, let's pause here. One. This is incredibly fun and I enjoyed this. Two, I hope that you are starting to recognize the difference between elementary descriptive words and secondary or strong um, character trait words. Fanatical, yes, Joshua Day, that is a really strong word. Okay, pause on the words. Okay, it is 9-12. We've gone over the expectations. We've gone over most of the expectations for today. So after you write a character trait, so for example, if I'm going to use, let's see, which one do I want to use? If I want to use Jaden's ruthless, so if I say Mr. McCabe is ruthless, then I need to provide a piece of evidence to support that. So this is gonna be difficult because we don't have a book on Mr. McKay. But what I can say is when he makes a rule, Mr. McKay always makes sure we follow it. Exactly, Samantha. So in this chart, the character trait, in the character trait column, there will just be words. In the supporting evidence columns, there will be one sentence where you introduce, well, we're gonna do two sentences and I'm gonna add this into the directions. You need to introduce your quote and then provide your quote. So, so let me know. I'm going to put in a comment. Sam, will you let me know if the comment opens on yours, I don't think it will. Um, me evidence must be introduced using quote sandwich. Sam, can you see that I put a comment in or no? Okay. So what I will do is I will make sure that I put the note into, I'm gonna edit the assignment and edit the directions in the assignment. In order to earn full credit, stu students must use a quote sandwich to introduce and explain the quote. Okay. 
Sally will be very proud of me over my all caps because she turns in a lot of things in all caps. Okay, can someone click into the 4.30 um, character development tracker assignment in Google Classroom? Can you see my all caps message in that assignment? Cool, thank you, Anthony. So, are there any questions about the assignment for today? If there are, if you do not have any questions, please write no in the chat. If you have a question, please write your question in the chat so I can quickly go over it. Celise. Oh, Sam, that's you, right? Um, the same protocol around late assignments that we had in class is the same deal. You get it to me on time, and if you can't get it to me on time, then you get it to me whenever you can get it in. It will just change the grading process a little bit. Abdul, yes, we need evidence for both characteristics, but only one piece of evidence from both because you're using the quote sandwich. Okay. So I want to take this time and I want to sh oh, I'm not going to be able to show. This is so frustrating. Okay. So, okay, Jordan, I don't need that from you for the record. Okay. So I wanted to, and I'll read some of these out loud. There were a couple really strong examples of structure that I want to make sure that we are talking about. So, in for yesterday's assignment, the assignment question for the short response talked about the structure differences between reading a novel and reading a play. So I want to read an example, and this is Salyu's example. It's really strong because of how she explains it. So I'm going to go through. I will add this as an example on the stream in the Google Classroom so people see it. Reading a play is very different from reading a novel. That's because in a play, there are precise stage directions in the margins that need to be followed. You don't have that in a novel. You Also, you're given a lot more information through the title or the blurb in a novel, where in a play, there are no blurbs, but there's a prologue. The stage directions are clearly shown throughout Act 2. Higgins' line is, and then brackets, chuckling and going over the piano to eat sweets. Yes, Brian. This shows that the words inside the parentheses show the stage directions. So for this line, Higgins will be traveling to the piano and picking up sweets. Where in a novel, there's not going to be any stage directions um, and then she even pulls in a quote from a novel. And so the thing that I really want to, sh to articulate about why this is such a strong response is because she gave clear examples. So with structure, structure examples might be Um, dial, uh, dialogue structure, uh, dialogue organization. Um, stage directions. No narrator. Um, I'm trying to think of other ones. What other structure examples might show the difference between reading a play and reading a novel. Are there any other big ones? Abdul, can you unmute? What do you mean by writing? Like the way the writing is structured. Tell me more. Like I mean, like I mean, the dialogue between two characters, it's more different. It's more uh, different from the oh, the, way, the different paragraph line. Yeah. Okay, got you. Very much so. Yes. So, 
Kamal says, and I'm so glad that you're in here, Kamal. I miss you dearly. Kamal says different ways of speaking and then poems are spaced. So Kamal is exactly right. In plays, there is a lot of spacing. In poems, there's also a lot of spacing. So that is a similarity between two different genres that Kamal was able to pull out. That's really strong, Kamal. Nice job. Something else that might be helpful is the way the way that it's intended to be read, right? Plays are ex intended to be read out loud or acted out. Books aren't. Books are meant to be read in your head. So the difference between the two is also in the structure is also because of the intent and how they're supposed to be consumed, right? How we're supposed to get the story. So that can also be another structure. So I just wanted to be really clear with this. There were some really strong responses and then there were some responses that were very vague, which means that they weren't specific enough. And so I wanted to make sure to give some strong examples so that for folks that want to submit again before I grade it, you can. Poems can be taken different. Yeah. So, Kamal, you are spot on. All writing, not just poems, but every single piece of writing that then people read, you've got two ways of interpreting it, right? It can be the way that I think the story goes and then the way that the author intended the story to go, right? So thinking about when we're analyzing what's happening in a story and why different aspects are in the story, we are always looking through what we think, right? And we're guessing at what the author's purpose was. The author's purpose, if they come out in interviews or they say it at the end of the book, may be very different than our interpretation. And so that very much so is true, Kamal. Although that does not connect to structure, that's more based on interpretation and analysis. So we've got eight minutes. I just passed back the 428 assignment. The reason why we're doing characterization today is because the characterization questions from 428 were not well done. A lot of students only put a claim or only put a word. And so the reason why we're doing the assignment we're doing today is to make sure that students understand how to write strong character traits and how to support them with evidence. So if there are questions about how to do that thing, then please, please make sure you ask them now so you can be successful on today's assignment. Otherwise, if there's anything else that you need, please reach out. Akira, can you unmute and ask your question? I don't have a question. It's okay. Oh. Okay, just let me know if you need something. Okay. So there are 50 people in this chat right now. I know, me too, Mr. McCabe. Oh, Mr. McCabe, were you here when the students were all roasting you? No, y'all got something to say? I was in a meeting. Who was roasting <laughs> me? Oh, no. Literally everyone was because it was a question that I had posed, which was great. We characterized you to practice high level character words. Oh, because I'm a high level character. That makes sense. That's totally negative. Fine. Negative. Yo, okay, right. Thank you. Coming in strong. Unbelievable. Sa Sam, you always got my back. I'm there. Low level what? Anthony, what are you talking about? Your GPA? <laughs> Bobby, what are you talking about? Your bank account? Original, Christine, I love that. That's amazing. You're so silly. Um, Akira. <laughs> so silly. <laughs> no, I'm going bald. I don't need a haircut. I'm going completely bald. All right. We've got five minutes. Let's prioritize this time for questions. Otherwise, get out of here so you can get to social studies on time. 
I really miss all of you. I, I really do. I miss all your hatred, all the love disguised as hate. I don't miss Mr. Clean Kazi. <laughs> two days in a row. That is true. Jalen, you Jaylen. miss that school, but you don't come and say hi to me in our meets, so. Lena, that is hilarious. That's the funniest thing I've ever heard someone say about me. But she left. I don't even know that I understand what she's saying, but that feels very... Because my teeth are a mess. I got all these rock teeth going in all different ways, so the dentist said my teeth are a level one, like in school. <laughs> that is hilarious. <laughs> That's amazing. Kazi, no, you have to go to social studies. You're right, Joshua Day. This is not what the meets are for. Uh, by the way, maybe it's for spelling errors because this is M-E-E-T. You're talking about food. <laughs> what's after this? I don't know what's after this. Social studies, with Kyra. Social studies. Oh, I'm not going. I I am. Yes, you are going to social studies. No, I'm not. I don't need help with social studies. I'm going to FaceTime you then. All right. Okay, I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. All right. I'm gonna go. <laughs> I'm oh my gosh, Kyra, oh, I miss no. your voice. You're going to see me there. Oh my God, Miss Hurley, do you think my voice went deep? No. Yo, you look, John, you sound tired. Too. Yo, these kids are so funny. I don't worry. All right, uh, Kyra, go to social studies. Okay. I'll talk to you later. Okay. Okay, my, bye. My head was in the way. That's why you spelled it wrong. That's funny. Yo. <laughs> You're so welcome, Eddie. I hope that that helps. It's much easier to have the book with you. Yeah. Jaden, your your joke isn't even as good as Lena's. A second teeth joke isn't good. Get out of here, people. You have three minutes to get to social studies. I'm going to start kicking people out. Lena's teeth joke was amazing. My dentist gave me a one. <laughs> you look like the type of person to have a third nipple. Nate, see, when jokes aren't funny, they're not funny. He tried, but he failed. Goodbye, y'all. It's okay, Nate. Goodbye. It's okay. I have to text him about how funny that is. Goodbye. All right, I'm my one-on-one -on -one with you today. Yeah. How's this meet? It was okay. So I pivoted a little bit, and we're doing character development again today because their character development on uh, 428's assignment, or on Tuesday's assignment, was not where I wanted it to be. Um, so we're going to do it again. And I just I did a table instead of having them do forms to hopefully provide some more structure. OK. So. Um, you thought that doing character traits on Mr. Stock, it's social studies time. You thought that what? You thought that doing character traits on me was going to be the, the way to do it? Well, yeah, because I wanted them to do all the characters from Act 2, so I also needed to make sure that they understood high-level character uh, traits as opposed to just saying mean or nice because I was really sick of seeing those two. <laughs> Did they have good ones? Yeah. I'll, I mean, I recorded it, so you'll get to see the whole transcript. <laughs> I'm so excited. I know you are. Uh, how are you feeling? I'm okay. That's a, that was a down. You went down. Yeah. But it's because it's a, when I'm in a spot like that, I, it takes time. Okay. If you need something, let me.